Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Renewable Energy Study Group. In the today's session, we're going to be focused on the calculation of rainwater harvesting potential. As we know that whenever we are conserving the rainwater from the specific location, then we have to calculate before that designing how much amount of the potential is there that rainfall is falling on that particular area and that we can able to conserve. This kind of the calculation is very essential whenever we are designing the overall system, specifically the storage tank that we are designing and overall potential that we are considering for the calculation. So here we'll go to be focus some important fundamental concept while calculation of rainwater harvesting potential. Rather we can calculate in meter cube, rather we can also calculate in liters also. So let's say the total amount of the water which has been receiving in the form of the rainfall over an area, this is called as rainwater endowment of that particular area. This is a quite technical term that we have to be considered like rainwater endowment that of area. This kind of the rainwater endowment of the area is varies based upon the location to location specific space to paste over here. Out of this amount that can effectively harvested is called rainwater harvesting potential. As you know that on the specific area of the rainwater endowment will be of let's say the 1 lakh will be the rainwater endowment will be there in terms of a liter on annual basis that we can consider. Out of this kind of the endowment how much amount of the rainwater that we can store or rather we can harvest that is very essential for designing the different components of the rainwater harvesting system. Rainwater harvesting potential we can calculate in terms of uh, rather we can calculate in liters also or meter cube also and the formula is that rainwater endowment of that area we have to calculate first thereafter the first flush and the spillage factor we have to consider because as we know that whenever the first rainfall is happening or the specific area we are actually flushing that particular rainwater because it is having the multiple contaminants bacteria also like evaporation also we have to be considered and other kind of the spillage factor also that we have to be considered over here in the calculation part. Multiply by the surface coefficient of catchment area, which kind of the surface that we are considering, whether it is a concrete type of the surface we are considering, tile roofing we consider, road surface that we consider, any specific uh, uh, metal surface that we have to be considered. So based, to, based upon that, this kind of the surface coefficient has been changed over here. We'll see how we can able to consider this particular factor in the calculation of rainwater harvesting potential. Let's say for the example, we have to calculate the rainwater harvesting potential. Let's say the annual rainfall of the city or that particular place will be 797.3 mm. Now, how we can consider any kind of the rainwater fall on that particular pace because whenever we are designing any system let's say for India or any other country that you are designing the system then on that particular country the weather station or the specific agency who is handling this kind of the weather data they are publishing this particular rainfall data of that site. It might be available in the Google also for your specific country that you are considering or from that specific agency also we can consider this data. Let's say for India, for uh, specific uh, data which has been published by the weather station will be like this. These are the various cities or uh, capital of the most of the states that we can see over here. Based upon that, it has been given like latitude and longitude of that particular site or the city. January to April, how much amount of the rainfall is happened in MM? May to September, it has been given. October to December also given. And total rainfall which has been happening on that particular city has been published. So let's say the site that we have considered for the calculation is for the Delhi region. For the Delhi region, when we say in January to April, 51.1 mm, 697.1 rainfall in the May to September. October to December, it is 49.1. And total when we consider it is a 797.3 mm rainfall annual basis. So we consider this total amount of the rainfall which has been happening if you are designing any rainwater harvesting potential for this particular city. Once we have considered that then we have to talk about how much amount of catchment area has been available because this kind of the system we are designing for the rooftop rainwater harvesting system and that is why the rooftop catchment area we must know if any house that we are designing and if it is having the 100 meter square of the area is there that we have to be considered. Thereafter, 
whatever the annual rainfall is been we have taken from the weather station like in this case it is a 797.3 mm this has been given in terms of the mm actually and that is why we have to divide this by 1000 to get this value in terms of the meter so the height of the rainfall we are getting just by this doing this calculation whatever the annual rainfall is there divided by 1000 and you get 0 0.7973 meter this is the height of the rainfall we have to consider now rainwater endowment of that particular area we can calculate by this formula rainwater endowment is the area which has been available that to be the catchment area which has been available multiply by the height of the rainfall like 0 0.7973 and from this we get 79.73 meter cube this much amount of the rainwater endowment will be there or a potential will be there that we can say this we have to multiply by 1000 if you want this data in terms of the liter if you want the data in terms of meter cube then keep it as it is only so this we are getting after converting into the liter format by multiplication of 1000 we get 79730 liters of the water this is the overall rainwater endowment of delhi region whenever we calculate for this calculation part once we have calculated this then we have to consider for which rooftop area we have considered Let's say for any tile roofing is there, concrete type of the roofing is there, metal band roofing is there. So their coefficient also we have to be considered, which is called as a surface rooftop coefficient that we can say, or simply the surface coefficient for rooftop potential calculation. So in this case, it is a 0 0.85. So basically this kind of the coefficient we are getting from this particular data, like the standard data will be published in the research paper, like rooftop catchment uh, area, when we say it is a tile roofing, your coefficient will ranging from 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 corrugated metal sheets ranging from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 like a ground surface covering when we say soil on the slope less than 10 percent it is 0 0.0 to 0 0.3 any kind of the other area residential complexes residential uh, industrial area playgrounds we can find the variety of the coefficient has been given on this table so from this we consider the tile roofing here and we consider the average of it like a 0 0.85 will consider which is a surface uh, coefficient on this particular situation so we just consider over here 0 0.85 and we do the further calculation part over here now whenever we do the further calculation part we must consider the coefficient for evaporation spillage and the first flush wastage because whenever any kind of the rainfall is happening the first flush is been getting wasted some of the water has been waste in the spillage also and evaporation also so this will consider common for all the calculation which is 0 0.8 for all the situations and statistically and approximately only effectively harvested water potential or quantity we can calculate by this formula like we have considered the rainwater endowment of that area which is the area which has been available on the site multiply by the height of the rainfall that we have considered multiply by the first spillage factor evaporation flush uh, flush factor we consider as an 0.8 and multiply by the surface coefficient like based upon the rooftop area and the surface which has been available their coefficient and by doing this calculation we get answer of 54216.4 liter this is the actual rainwater harvesting will be happening on that particular area when we are calculating the rainwater harvesting potential and like this we can calculate the rainwater harvesting potential and we can design the further rainwater harvesting system over here hello everyone we belongs to the renewable energy study group we are providing the variety of the courses in the renewable sector like the, on the courses on the solar sector designing the various solar power plant and various software that we are teaching wind so wind power system designing biogas designing rainwater harvesting designing carbon footprint assessment and care report calculation waste management these are our various domains we are providing the courses on our website you can visit our website on www.renewableenergystudygroup.in and you will find the various offers which has been there or recent offers which has been there in the bundle of the courses so you can take the courses courses in the form of the bundle you can study that various courses and you can endeavor your knowledge in the renewable sector various offers has been given in the description box you can click on description box you can see you can the link of the website and the course bundle link also has been given over here you can direct it to that particular website also 
you can go through our website you can read our blogs on the recent blogs on the renewable sector like subscribe and share our channel thank you